everyone. Uh, my name is Fox Blockhead. This is like a super slow mo close up. And <laughs> welcome back to another episode of Minecraft from the Weeby Minecraft server. This right here. Uh, if it's not where we left off, it's pretty close. It is a ravine. And I've gone through and I've stripped out a lot of the ores. A lot of iron, a lot of gold. Well, there's some gold I forgot. Stripped out a lot of ores, and one thing that I found, I don't know if there's actually a thing or not, but there's a lot of gold here. As I, uh oh. As I said, I don't know if it's a thing or not. Hello. But there seems to be a lot of gold in a mesa. Bam. Uh, there seems to be a lot of gold in a mesa. Ooh, and there's lots of bad, lots of badness here too. I wonder if there's a spawner over there. Got him. Oh, we got a dropped potato. Can we get across there? I only have two. I don't think so. One, two. Should we go for it? Let's go for it. Let's not go for it. <laughs> I'm too much of a scaredy cat. Um. Yeah. So I wonder if it's actually a thing that for a mesa they have lots of gold in the ground because I found a lot and I mean a lot of gold right here on the ground more than I think I have found anywhere ever and that's that's a lot that's saying a lot but uh, okay this is back uh, don't want to get lost ah that's back to the ravine that way Okay. Well, look, more gold here. I mean, what, what's our why? What's your elevation here? That's that's ridiculous. And more. Look at this. This is nuts. So much gold. So well. So if you're ever playing a uh, like a ultra hardcore or something like that, where you've got to have lots of gold for what you need to do, find a mesa. Now it could also be could also be because we're about 2,000 blocks from spawn. Look at that, more gold. This is nuts. Anyway, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> and it looks like I've got way more to do. So I've got heaps of cave here that I can go and explore and find a lot. Whoa. I did not, I did not come out there. <laughs> uh, I came out here. There we go. Let's go. Uh, so I've got lots more caves that I can come and explore and check out and and uh, dig a whole lot deeper. Let's jump over there. Is that redstone? No. Uh, but yes, lots of lots of gold, especially right here. So I could be the gold baron when I get back to spawn. But I, I oh, an iron. This is so good. So I just used up heaps of iron making some of those Y-shaped hoppers. <laughs> lots of iron. Uh, had a spare set because I died. Yes, I died when I was over here, so I've got a spare set of stuff. Uh, let's leave the pot potato here. Yeah, I've got a ghast, a ghastly ghast here. Let's use my, let's use my uh, ender chest, which I have now. I've got some ender chests set up. And let's take a walk. And there's heaps more this way too. Look, there's heaps more cave. Heaps more cave. I could get lost here. Um, but that's that's where we are, and if we go up here, it's, it's Mesa up here. I don't know if you can, don't know if we'll be able to see this. Let's yeah. So look, look at that, look at that clay. Uh oh, I just had a skeleton. Let's get out here. Uh, so yes, heaps, heaps of good stuff over here. So I'm going to keep this um, space in my back pocket. Uh, stuff, mate. And I did have to link up some portals. Because when I popped out of my portal, when I popped out of the other side of the portal, I actually ended up in someone else's portal. <laughs> which uh, meant that I had to dig way, way, way down here. But that's fine. We have a spot that's easy to see. Uh, it came out of that portal way over there. It's like a blue. Let's use Optifine. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, so I took the plunge. I installed Optifine. And, uh, yeah, popped out over there. So, not too far away in... 
nether terms, I guess, but quite a long way away otherwise. Right near the uh, the skeleton skeleton farm, actually. The uh, regular skeleton farm. And if we follow this highway, <laughs> it certainly looks like a highway anyway, if we follow the highway back through this away, we end up Let's do some jumping. We end up back at the Nether Fortress, which is right near Spawn Portal and my portal. Where is that ghastly ghast? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Don't want to break. Don't want to break the bridge. Where is he? Where is he? Didn't break the bridge, did I? That would be most unfortunate. Uh, but yes, I think it's uh, Zoo, Zoo Crafter, or Zoo Crafted, has been at work. Oh my goodness, he's been doing the work over here. He has been slabbing out the nether. Where is he? 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 Oh, this way. He has been slabbing out the nether to make a wither skeleton farm. Where is that ghast? The ghast, the ghast, ghast. Hmm. Uh, but because this is a nether fortress, I also came out here and got some some glow sticks. <laughs> They're not glow sticks. Uh, they are sticks of those things. There we go, we got another one. Nice. Yowza! Don't hit me, don't hit me! No! That's not fair. Oh, hit me again. I can't use my water. Okay. There is a space over here, and there's stairs. It's all good. Uh, so yes, all slabbed out so we can have a with a skeleton farm back that way I guess uh, but we'll come and check that out another time right now we need to go home which yeah okay let's follow the tracks around this way and jumped in some fire that was a bit silly and we can make our way back home this way yes there it is so I'm not exactly sure where that goes, but I know that this over here goes to the spawn area. That's that nether portal. And then to get to you up there. Get out of here before I make more of a mess. I hope that uh, mod briefing is still off. Get down here. Uh oh. Away from the lava. Lava makes me nervous. Uh, so here we go down here, and this is the portal to mine and happy's areas. Sun's coming up, good old. Now I do have to uh, create a better tunnel to get back to my area. Uh, but something else you might notice with the Optifine switched on, downloaded, installed, is that all my leaves are now transparent. They look a little bit different. Uh, I think there's some, some options like fancy and fast graphics. And I've got them set on a certain certain one to make them look transparent so hmm not sure I like those but nah that's right we can leave it for now I also got some nether wart they're not quite grown up yet so we've got some nether wart growing there I'll have a little nether wart station in a while our, our veggie patch is almost there and I found some cacti we have eight now so when they grow up the fence posts will make them pop off and then they'll get sucked into these hoppers and then the occasional one will actually land back on the cactus and die but 
that's okay. So we're back again now. That's what I used all the iron for, by the way. Back again now after a bit of a holiday. We've got the boom, boom, boom. We have gold, food, and iron. We have oh, back from holidays. I chatted about my holiday on another video playing the Etherlight. So if you want to check out some of what I said in that video, you are more than welcome. Uh, you know what, we've got a blaze rod. Let's see if we can make a brew stand before we go. Uh, I think I need slabs. Is that right? Let's search. Oh. Search. Brew stand. Oh, it's cobble. Is it? Is that all? Cobble. Oh dear. One, two, three. Well, I've got to make it easy for people to to make it, I guess. And brew stand. Ah, uh, you don't get the achievement until you actually brew something, so we'll need to brew something. We've got some blaze powder to actually do the brewing with a gas here. Very nice. Very nice. That's another thing that we can tick off our list. We have a brew stand. We're trying to get the levels so we can get so we've got silky, a silk touch pick, so we can get a fortune pick, so we can fortune up all of this coal. So show me show you my ores. Look at all that coal that I've been picking up with my silk touch. It's good, but it's also not good, because we want the ores, you see. Uh, we've also got a heap of redstone, which will get us more XP. Picked up some glowstone when I was in the nether last time. Uh, we need to go shearing a whole bunch of trees, because we need a ton of leaves. I haven't done anything to the tree uh, since... Well, I haven't done much to the tree, I should say, since I showed you last, because I've been on holidays course been on holidays so I'm going to hello I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna start shearing up a whole bunch of these leaves so I have leaves to place all over our far away tree and I need him not to blow up the leaves that I drop on the ground that would be very unfortunate uh, but I think that is going to be all for today. Had a wonderful trip to Tasmania, down the bottom of Australia. Uh, like I said, if you wanted to check out the Etherlight video, and there may be some snippets to come on the channel as well from the holiday. I'll just have to wait and see how those videos from the camcorder turned out. But this is going to be my life for the next week or so while I try and collect while I try and collect leaves for the project, the next step of expanding the faraway tree uh, but for me that's all for now, thank you very much for watching, it is good to be back, I'm excited to get back into some more Minecraft, back into some Weeby stuff the guys from Weeby, they actually went on a nether raid I was just watching uh, Waddle's video and Happy's video. They went and killed the, the Ender Dragon. So that's all been done. I missed out on that. Um, the egg apparently is over at spawn. So we can go and see that at some point. And then they went and raided one of the nether places. So I think someone or some people have got some elytra as well. Uh, I don't think anyone left me any elytra. But then there may be some elytra for me over at the, uh, at, at the spawn area. So I might have to go and check that out at some point as well. Uh, we also have our spawn build. We also have the faraway tree to complete plenty of projects for us until the next update for Minecraft comes out. Hey, another two. We get some green. Some green for our, our spawn build. Uh, until the next version, next version, next update of Minecraft comes out. Uh, very excited for those things and I think we are thinking as a server to update but more of that to come that's all for me hope you've all had a wonderful Christmas New Year period
Christmas New Year period. I know I did. My family and I, we had an absolute blast. We had such fun spending time with each other. And this is actually kind of loud, so... Oh, and I just lost my shears. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it there. I want to thank you all very much for watching one more time. And until next time, I'll see you later, alligators.